I have to admit, I am disappointed in what we discovered after the death of Malahay. I suppose I shouldn't be, but I am. I was hoping that we would find secrets that would expose the murderer of my father and my hunter, the man in the imposing armor. I guess I was just euphoric after clearing out the mines and ridding it of the kobold master who was directing the kobolds to taint the ore and chase everyone out of the mines. My hunter probably doesn't have anything to do with this, though. It could simply be that some other mines owned by some unscrupulous owner paid this mullahe to destroy his competitor. Or maybe there is more to it. Right now I cannot say, but we have one lead, this Transig in Baragost. We shall have to pay this person a visit soon. Am I closer to finding my father's killer? I don't have any reason to believe so, no. But we all did a good deed regardless, and I feel much happier in spirit than before we came. Perhaps we should look into the bandits plaguing the Sword Coast after this, but that could also turn out to have no connection to my hunter either. For all I know, he could be someone from Gorion's old adventuring days and has nothing to do with local events. A simple matter. I thank you for my freedom, friends, for I have languished in these dismal vaults too long. At last, I am free of my dreary prison. Five and eighty days are far too long for one of the fair folk to live as a dwarf. You look no better off than I, but my appreciation for my liberty bids me add my spells to your cause. I am Zan. Shall we face the impossible together? How did you come to be trapped in such an inhospitable place? Alas, I was sent to investigate the strange goings-ons about this area, and I landed caged for seemingly hopeless weeks on end. I have not seen the sun almost as long as I have not seen my home. You'd be welcome to join with us, but our group is full. Um, thank you anyways. Don't forget to take your sword. There's nothing else here. Let's leave. Hmm. It would be nice to rest, but I'd much rather walk home and rest in... in I don't simple matter. really want to go the way we came, but if that's the only way to go, we'll see what's this way first. Could be more traps, so. Yep. Let's gotcha. go. You and me, Imowen. We'll go look for traps. A simple matter. Fine. Slow going, but you just have to be sure. I'll keep my eyes peeled too. Oh, it's kind of jelly. Oh, I'll show you a fight. What? Oh, Such menial tasks. Another oh, one. My heart's really not in this. Oh, it's done. I don't think there's any other traps here. You must gather your party Ooh. before venturing forth. Fine. Out in the daylight. Oh, it's not even noon. This is nice out here. Dogs. Where are we? Oh, we have to head west. What a desolate area this this is. I always come back and explore this area later, but for now, let's head back to Nashville Such and sleep at the inn. Oh, this is the woman, the woman's house. She's looking for her husband. Sorry to bother you so late. 
We found his green stone ring, but I'm afraid we... Th I think he's dead. He... he's dead? My Joseph is dead? We're very sorry for your pain. Here, have his ring to remember him with. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me the news. At least we could bring you the news of his death and his wedding ring as keepsake, even if this might be a, of little consolidation to you now. Be assured of our deepest feelings of sorrow and grief, milady. Orin, I am very glad you took the time to turn the ring to this poor widow. At least now she knows the sad truth. Such menial task. Sad truth indeed. Okay, back to the end. Get a good night's sleep. It's the middle of the night. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. Um. Jassus decides to heal. Fine. Um, Imowen. Oh, we have those rubies that you, I think you were looking for. Dealing with criminals, jades a man so. Ah, my fine and honest friend, what can I do for you today? Oh, do you talk about the woman in the cemetery? She mourns the theft of her dead daughter's body. Can you give me more information about this? That is a very strange thing, and I'm not sure what to make of it. As you already know, the girl's corpse was stolen the night after her burial, after it was laid out for three days and nights in the chapel, as it was wished by the parents. Why anyone would want to take the efforts to open the grave if it could have taken the body easily the nights before is a mystery to me. Fortunately, it was the only occurrence of this kind here. We had one other disappearing corpse, though also a young woman, over half a year ago, and no traces as to who did it. We keep an eye open, a lunatic exhuming girls' bodies... Exhuming girls' bodies. It's not a thing we need right now. Okay, but I found your gems. I've come to turn in a bounty and collect the reward that's duly mine. A 300 gold bounty for the emeralds? Well, you'll make quite a name for yourself among the bounty hunters if you keep this up. Whether it's for better or for worse, I do not know. Well, those emeralds weren't ours, so... Oh. Baron, Gasco. Stand away, citizen! You have returned. It would seem I was right to trust you. The town thanks you wholeheartedly and is pleased to give you the proper reward. Please take this 900 gold for your efforts. It is a small fortune by anyone's standards. Thank you again. There is no need for gratitude, Baron. Helping you was our duty, as you well know. Despite my nagging doubts, Oren did well. Much better than I expected. Why, she certainly did. Young here, Oren here is the he true hero of Nashko. I also found this vial of liquid on one of the kobolds in the mines. I think it has something to do with the iron. Hmm. I'm no master of metals, but you might want to show that to Thunderhammer up in Baragost. He might know a little more. Again, thank you for all you've done. We follow the righteous path. The path of hell. Yes, it does feel good to have actually saved the town. Perhaps the whole region. Gorion would be proud of your actions. I hope so. I really do. That means a lot to me. I'll go to the store tomorrow. I am death come for thee. Surrender, and thy passage shall be quicker. Again? May the gods reward your arrogance with death. What? I'm not surrendering to anything. Struggle if you must, dead one. I do not mind working for my money. Why Nimble has been hired to deal with the likes of you, I'll never know. We dispelled his, or fizzled his spell. I couldn't cast it. Well, that one was rather easy. A simple matter. Nimble has been hired for the likes of me. Well, you couldn't even defeat us. He had some kind of magic boots and a ring. Some kind of enchanted sword. A scroll. What does the letter say? What am I up to in value now? Oh. Nimble, the money you have received from Transic should cover your usual fee. Your assignment is a difficult one, but I'm sure that you are up to the task. There's a group of mercenaries who should be coming through Nashville in the next few days. They are led by Welt named Orin. You are to kill Orin and all that travel with her. I warn you, they may not look like much, but they are very dangerous. Good hunting. Hmm. Give this to you, Nero. Nero has become more seasoned. more skilled. Hmm. 
Let's rest. Very tired. Menial tasks. Sleeping in that mine wasn't really sleep. Never had rats. No What can you give me for it today? A nice noble room would be wonderful. You do not dream often, but tonight the visions are vivid indeed. Long have you walked, but now you find yourself back amidst the stones of Candlekeep. Your former home looms before you, but the gate is closed and barred. Over the walls there is a candle in your old room, but as the light goes out, the brick surrounding the window closes together. The very walls conspire to keep you at bay. A familiar voice startles you. Though it is calm and caring, you cannot go back this way, child. You must go on. Gorion forms before you. And though his image should be comforting, it seems but a shade of his living self. He is dead in your dreams, as in life. The phantom of your foster father gestures toward the blackness of the wood, as though it should be inviting. Perhaps it is, in a way, but the traveling will be hard. As you think this, a smooth and obvious path becomes clear out of the corner of your eye. It seems meant for you, pulls at your very being, and promises to quickly lead you away from the life you once led. Perhaps this would be for the best, but it is a bit too convenient for your liking. You do not wish to dwell upon the loss you have endured, but neither should it be forgotten. Gorion smiles and fades away. The pull becomes a push, but you turn away, steadfast in your new direction. The way is not quite as clear, but it is sure to be interesting nonetheless. A whisper follows as you stride away, something vestigial and sinister that you recognize, but yet have never heard. You will learn. You don't look back. What? What has happened to me? I feel different somehow. Yes, I know what it is. I now have the power to heal just a little bit. But how did I get this ability? I don't even know if I should tell the others, at least not yet. I don't know what to make of it. What would they wouldn't understand? They what would they make of this ability to heal? I don't know what they would even say. Maybe it's from Lathander. Powers of healing come from the gods, so I can't imagine where else this would come from. It's not as if I'm a god. Thank you, Lathander, if you are listening. Well, that was a horrid dream. Something's different. I feel like I have magical ability. Fine. In fact, I just heal myself. How is that possible? Menial tasks. Fine. This is so strange. Such menial tasks. Show me a pretty bit of gold, and you can have anything in the store. I've got the gold, but have you anything I need? Oh, yes, so many things to. Hmm. So many things to sell. So many things to identify. So you have boots. Identify these boots. Talos's gift gives you quite a bit of electrical resistance. Actually, uh, well, we have to give back these boots back in Baragos, so everyone might as well keep those. And another one of these rings. We have another a second pair of boots. 
senses of the cat. Makes you more adept at avoiding missile attacks. We can give the magically enhanced short sword to Imowen. I guess we can sell that. Wakisashi. <laughs> A Wakisashi, or companion sword, is extremely important to the samurai. It's worn at all times, even towards... We don't have anybody that uses this. Hmm. Scimitar, oh, you know who... I'm not sure if she can use it, actually. No, she cannot. But she can use a scimitar. Strange. Just hold on to it for now. So, th we've done some... Identifying. This ring gives infravision, infra and you know who needs that? That is a Jantus. Um, honorary Ring of Soon. Can memorize one extra divine spell of each level from one to four, first to four, so it's very good for priests and clerics and I'm guessing possibly even druids. And we have a small shield here. Oh, maybe I should just sell the sword. Menial tasks. Sell the short sword. A simple matter. There was someone that I was told that needs help. Actually, looking for someone to help him. A simple matter. Down this way. Some kind of crazy bald ranger. And this looks like him. Hello? Stand and deliver. That my hamster might have a better look at you. Tattooed on the head. But bald. Let us pass, strangers, for we have not much time to waste. What? Yes, I'll ask them. Boo and I go to rescue my charge, Dinah, here. You may aid in our victory if you wish. There is glory enough for all. Excuse me, but are you speaking to a rodent? Boo is my faithful animal companion, and more than he seems. Hmm. The classic dilemma of a damsel in distress. How could anyone decline? Take heart, fellow adventurers, for you have curried the favor of Boo, the only miniature giant space hamster in the realm. My friend and companion ever since my <laughs> head wound. He will lead us to victory. Onward to the Null stronghold to the west. Tarry not. We must go soon. Wow, a damsel in distress and a brave warrior to come rescue her? I wish that would happen to me. Actually, no, I don't. I don't mind the brave warrior as long as he's handsome. But the part about being in danger I could do without. Minsk will rescue a nice girl like you, fear not. But now it's glorious Dinah here that we need to rescue. Onward, friends. Strange as your attitude seems, my friend, I have the impression you are a capable fighter for good. Let us go and help your lady out of her distress. Onward. I'm not sure... Hmm. I have to think about this. I've decided that Khalid and Jahira... Um, I'll talk to Jahira since she seems to be the leader of the two. Yes, we want to remove her. I openly question your judgment, but it is your decision to make. You do show some measure of leadership, and I should be glad to assist you in the future. Come, Khalid, we must depart now. Jahira, I do not want to part ways with you forever. Just, um, no. Our paths will have to separate right... Our paths have to separate right now, but they will cross again one of these days. I might seek your help again soon. Let us set up a meeting place somewhere along the Sword Coast. We shall wait for you at the Friendly Arm Inn. It's a perfect place to spend a few days recovering from the hardships of travel. Kalita has graciously given the me... Yes. The because I didn't have any magical weapons. Varskona. So now I have a... Very powerful um, longsword. Blades of this type were long used by Sharon priests during the sacrificial rites of the Feast of Moon ceremonies. Legends say that when she passed on, the remains of this sword's wielder were mummified and the blade was placed within her chest as a symbol of power. In the first stage of a long forgotten ritual, she was to be have been exhumed in a season, born again in some new form. Unfortunately, cult wars killed the few that knew of her existence. Her tomb became a prison where she was forgotten, and there she developed a rage that bordered on insanity. Her grave was eventually found, but it was deserted and gave no indication 
explanation of her whereabouts. Some venture to say that her anger was so concentrated that she became one with the very blade of her weapon. Regardless, after hundreds of years surrounded by constant hate, the sword harvested a power of its own. It is now exceedingly deadly in combat. So it gives cold damage. It's a very powerful magical weapon, actually. Probably the most powerful we have. What is it? Minsk. Minsk has told me... Uh, he's quite seasoned in with a bow. Two-handed sword. Somewhat seasoned with a long bow. But in two-weapon style, which really doesn't make much sense. But I'm trying to understand this eccentric or a crazy... <laughs> <laughs> Man. But he's very strong, very muscular, and he, he claims to be good with, in battle. So he's wielding a two-handed sword. And if we come across a bow that he can use, we'll give it to him. But Such we are out of someone to heal the group. There's only a Jantus with his lay on hands. I am aware of that uh, cleric. The um, brown one. She's at the carnival. Hopefully, it was a day or so, a few days ago, that we saw her. Hopefully, she'll be there soon. A simple matter. To Tempest, she's a cleric. To Tempest, I remember her telling me this, and she'd be very helpful. Plus, we have that ring that she could use. I was tempted to bring the elf uh, uh, Zan into the group, but. Just that it wasn't that I got a bad feeling about him, like he was someone bad. It's just that he didn't seem like a very competent group member. He liked to complain from the brief time I, I met him, and uh, we just don't need something like that kind of poisoning the group's spirit. Perhaps you have changed your mind and now need my skills? Sure, we have room for another in our party. I'm glad to be part of your war party. I will not make you regret your decision. A word of caution, though. Beware of the dog that entrapped me in stone. Transic, he called himself. He was in the employ of a mercenary group, but I do not know the name. I shall see him dead before I see the shores of home again. Transic. That's... A man by the name of Transic is at the Falpost Inn. I, he should have inf interesting information for me. Well, we have Dinah here to rescue first. Oh. Uh, I guess being turned to stone wasn't good for your health. <sighs> level she can cast level two cleric spells, which is very very powerful actually, and helpful. Oh, I've got to give her that ring. What you want? Who has it? This will really add. She doesn't have any weapon. Um, we have a shield, but no weapon. Uh, light, small shield she can use. It's a magical shield. It's enchanted, but no weapon. Maybe we should buy like a. What is she skilled in? Warhammer or a sling? Actually, don't we don't have any slings, do we? I think. Oh, Jahira took the sling she had. We need to get a sling. And a warhammer, I would think. A various people, matter. various various merchants all around here. So we're just gonna have to keep looking. Come on, guys, in in this tent. What do you say? I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. I trust you are enjoying the fair. Fine time, despite the recent shenanigans involving the mines and those pesky bands as well. What can I get for you? It has been a lovely diversion indeed. What wares do you have available? Oh, I wish I could use a compass at longbow. I don't just don't have the strength for it. There is a sling here that we can buy for her. And you sell bullets as well. Do you sell a warhammer? You do not. These are all range weapons, throwing axe and everything. Good enough for now. Ah, there's nothing like the smell of fresh blood to bring a tingle to the nose and a smile to the face. Scalps make good trophies. Ugh, this one could have stood to have washed his hair once the ten day. Fine. Do you sell weapons? I'm one badass merchant. Yes, I've heard your spiel. Uh, okay, I get you. I will not bargain. Ugh. He doesn't want to... I think he's lost his mind. <laughs> Such menial tasks. I'm here to actually buy. 
Okay, so Warhammer. Wish we had a magical Warhammer. As the metal might break. But she should be. She should be good now. If the Warhammer breaks, I mean, she doesn't have any armor. We actually, we have, ah, oh, I'm glad I kept, kept this plate melt. Unfortunately, Minsk is going to need this because, yeah, that's much better than what it was. He, didn't, he just had leather armor. We'll need helmets. Do you sell? Let me see. Nope. No helmets. Fine. Anybody, is there a person around here that, how much money gold do we have? 3,500 is not bad at all, actually. I wonder... If they sell it, some kind of magical weapon a here, Harry does. I know she sells magical items. Oh, or Oren, it does my heart good to see you and your friends well. Do you need something? Um, show us what you have. Of course. Flail, which no one uses. Oh, a magical warhammer. It's very expensive, though. A mace, magical mace, uh, spear, quarterstaff. Tana, long, long sword. I could use that, but um, truth be told, if anyone needs a magical weapon, it would be our two frontline, Minsk and Agentis, and they they do not. A bastard sword here, but it's even it's worth more than what we have. Almost, it's nine gold more, but then we'd be completely out of gold if we were to buy that. Let's see, Agentis might be able to finesse Harry for a better price. Is a little bit more charismatic than I have. Than I am. How much for... Where is it? I don't think the prices have changed, actually. They have not. Okay, then. Hmm. Thank you, Ari. Such menial tasks. By Temper Shield! Okay. This. And... Okay, that looks good. I guess we matter. can go. We can pick up things on the way, I suppose. I'm sure... Uh, it's bugging me. If we just got a couple helmets and maybe something a little better for... Or not this one. This is the Fine. merchant that sold me those Such potions. Menial tasks. Okay, so we've been here. So the Knoll stronghold is to the west. It's a fair bit of a ways. So we're gonna go southwest on the way there. It took half a day of travel. And since we have no heals, I suggest that uh, Fine. we just rest right here. Still not sure what to say about my ability to heal now. <sighs> What's wrong, Nera? Got a crick in your neck from our last battle? No, I'm just looking up the stars. Did the monks at Cannel Keep teach you and Oren about the night sky? Teth Toral took us out for a few lessons, but I didn't pay much attention. It was boring. Haha, -ha. we had to learn the constellation as part of our divination classes. I didn't have much of a knack for divination, but I do love watching the stars. I spent many nights in the high forest gazing up at the stars as they moved across the sky. So peaceful. If you say so, I'd rather be sitting by a warm fire in an inn than outside in the middle of the night staring at the stars. Ooh, that sounds good too, with a cup of mold elvish wine. Now you're talking. That does sound good. Let's uh, rest. Nice warm campfire. We've gone even south. We're right in the mountains, the cloud peaks. The nights are rather cold. Hey, nothing happened. Thankfully. Menial time to explore a simple matter I smile at Agentus Agentus gives me a short smile without taking his vigilance from the surroundings what he is very devoted well we'll just explore this immediate area and then head west and try to find uh it's a nice place. It might just take a little while to explore. 
before we head west to rescue Dinah here, who Misk is so fond of. Talks about her constantly. Uh, when he's not talking about her, he's talking about Minsk as rodent. Yes, um, I'm not quite sure about Minsk's his sanity, or is it? Was he just? He, didn't he say he was hit in the head or something? Took a head head injury. Yeah, that may have done it. Oh, this wolf is different looking. It's pure white. I'll do it. You can count For the on me. glory of Helm! Oh, wow. Mince cleaved it yes. in two at the end. Such menial tasks. Winter Wolf Pelt. Oh yes, the Nashville store owner was willing to buy these. He's going to give us 500 it? for each of them. Oh, it is kind of heavy. Uh, speaking of that, since we rested, I was hoping you can identify these. Identify. These are the potions we bought. Red Potion. Close examination reveals liquid to be very peculiar in nature. It could be a sorcerer's dream, but that would depend entirely on who you asked. After ingesting the mixture, the drinker becomes the weakest, most unwise, yet incredibly intelligent person to have ever lived. With an innate 50% uh, magic resistance as well, the effect remains for an entire 24 hours, so think carefully before unplugging the cork. I can't imagine. Maybe for a scribe that not wearing anything because your strength will be reduced. That has a lot of work to do, but then your it reduces your wisdom as well. Okay, what about this? This is the other potion I bought from him. This is one of the oddest potions you have ever examined. Once drunk, this mixture causes one's muscles to immediately bulge to complete inhuman proportions. Titan-like, actually. While dexterity and constitution are both reduced essentially to that of a slug. The effect lasts for a full 24 hours, so think carefully. Ooh. So you can hit hard, but... You won't have very good aim, or and you can't take much punishment in return. I think we should just sell these, truth be told. I mean, they did technically do what that uh, vendor said that they do, but it's just such an extreme that it's not worth keeping it. And we're an adventuring group out, out in the, the wilds and going through dungeons, such as the mines. Nashville Mines. We have no use for something with things like that. It's snowing. It's that cold. Cloud Peak Mountains. Listen. It's nice. Oh! Who's that? Nice to hear the birds like that. After being in the mines for whatever, how long we were, 24 hours? Less than that? Felt like forever, though. Travelers from the North Halt, you trespass quite deep into Omnian territory. Perhaps you have come to spy upon our supposed troop buildup? It's quite funny. The stupid notions you northern barbarians can get stuck in your heads. Are you saying that Am does not threaten Baldur's Gate? Of course not. Our mighty nation has better things to do than attack some self-important barbarian city. Anyhow, take our advice and go back for once you came. We will be going nowhere. We have as much right to be here as you do. Why? It seems we have stumbled upon some berserkers. I had suspected as much when I caught your scent a few moments ago, but your behavior clinches it. Delgod, Alexander, let us make short work of these peasants. What? These aren't even... They're not bandits and they're not... Bounty hunters and they're attacking us. The whole world seems insane. Uh huh. Oh, it's an area. What? Cool one, sir. Butt kicking for goodness. Okay, Jantus is getting hurt. S 
their leader was, uh... Is she used... What did she use? Whole person spell. Emelon, I need your help. Wasn't so bad. <clears throat> oh wow. I must thank you again for rescuing me from that sorceress imprisonment. Although I confess it stings my pride to be rendered helpless in such a manner, Tempest has reminded me that all warriors need aid from comrades in arm occasionally. That's alright, Brown One. It was a pleasure. Not merely a pleasure on your part. Those scrolls are not dropped by every gibberling and goblin, and they are not worth goodly and they are worth goodly coin besides. You have sacrificed for me, and I shall sacrifice of my blood and sweat for you. All the items that we just found, or just found, are able to loot from the bodies of our dead attackers. Okay, so you need a helmet. And you need a helmet. You need better armor. A longbow, which Minsk can use. Ooh, some kind of magical arrows. And a scimitar. <laughs> Jahira leaves and we find a uh, scimitar. Better armor. I'll probably just drop them. Not worth very much. Oh, helmet. And a bow. Okay. Well, let's continue on. <laughs>